Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeanette and this is New Way to Live. My quest to lose weight following my VSG procedure, find my purpose or purposes in life, and take my life back. Let's start out with a big disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I am not a licensed health professional. While I am studying to become a certified nutrition coach, I am not a registered dietitian or a licensed nutritionist. The information that I am sharing is my experience and my opinions. Take that with a grain of salt, if you will. Let's get into the video. Today, I want to talk about vitamins and why they are so important pre and post op. Vitamins are something that most of us having undergone weight loss surgery will be taking for the rest of our lives. And for me, that's that's okay. The only reason really though to take multivitamins is because you are not getting those pieces of nutrition being the vitamins and minerals in our daily diets. And because we are eating a lot less than normal individuals, normal individuals or um, eating a lot less than we were prior to our surgery, more so in the beginning of the process, we are missing out on all of those necessary vitamins and minerals that our bodies need to function properly. So we have to supplement them somehow. Now, for most post-op patients, this means forever. However, you may be one of the lucky ones who gets to a point in your food journey where you no longer need the vitamins. And of course, this is something that you will talk to your doctor about. But I'm a believer that a daily multivitamin, whether you are eating right or not, will not hurt you. So I wanted to give a breakdown of my vitamin list at six weeks post-op. Of course, this is probably going to change over time, but I just wanted to share with you what I'm taking and maybe that can help somebody else out there with what should I be taking. I see so many things out there, so many conflicting uh, rules or conflicting statements about what a post-op weight loss patient should be taking. I'm going to share with you what has been okayed by my clinic and what I'm taking. So the first thing that I do every day is I take two multivitamins. I take the gummy vitamins. There are some thoughts out there that bariatric patients shouldn't use gummy vitamins, but this really isn't true. Everyone is going to be able to tolerate their vitamins and their medications differently. I think a big part of the controversy is maybe the sugar they contain. I don't know. But these only contain two grams of sugar, so that's okay. At the end of the day, you have to get your vitamins in however you can in whatever way that you personally can tolerate, whether that be gummy, tablet, chewable, um, if you take the patch, if it's liquid, if the only thing you've ever been able to tolerate is Flintstone vitamins, just take them. And of course, obviously make sure you talk to your doctor if you have any questions or concerns about your specific dosage or needs. If you need something for women over 50, take a women over 50 vitamin. If you need a prenatal vitamin, take a prenatal vitamin. Just take a daily vitamin. You don't want to be missing out on those important nutrients. The other thing that I take every day is B12. And I know a lot of people will take this in injection form or you can buy it sublingually to go under your tongue. I just use the tablets. It's nothing crazy. It's very small. It's probably the size of a, a mini M&M. &M. I only take one a day. Then I take Omeprazole. And I take 20 milligrams of Omeprazole every day. The reason why I'm taking this is because when I left my clinic, they sent me home with a 30 day, twice a day dosage of omeprazole to protect the stomach lining and while it's healing and to help reduce any heartburn or um, cut down on any of the stomach acid. And because the stomach line being six to seven weeks out right now is still technically healing for another couple weeks, I'm continuing to take this I probably will not take it anymore after this bottle is empty. Uh, but I'm going to finish the bottle, see how I feel. If I need to continue or if I have any issues, I'm going to talk to my doctor and see what they think I should do. So after I take those in the morning, I wait about two hours. Um, and then I take my calcium with vitamin D. And I chose the, I was taking chewable calcium at first and it was making me nauseous. I did not like it. So I got the chocolate, the Viactive chocolate chews. These are milk chocolate. 
I take one of these. It has calcium, which is good for your bones, and it helps maintain and prevent maintain your bones and prevent osteoporosis. Then the vitamin D actually assists with the calcium absorption to make sure we're absorbing everything we need. My particular clinic said that we should be taking 1200 milligrams per day. So I take one two hours after I take my multivitamin and then four hours after that I take another one. Occasionally I'll take one after dinner just because they remind me of Tootsie Rolls and it's a nice little end to the day. And sometimes I will take biotin. Now I have it in my vitamin arsenal. Sometimes I'll take it at the start of the day. Sometimes I take it at night. If I miss it, I'm not that worried about it. It's not something you need. Biotin is, it's an interesting thing. With biotin, again, like I said, I'm not too concerned about it because the health and beauty industry has made some large claims over the years about biotin and about how it helps with hair, skin, and nail growth. But the studies that prove the accuracy just really aren't there. Uh, hair loss is, the reason we take the biotin is to prevent the hair loss, but hair loss is just a part of the extreme weight loss process, unfortunately. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen to everybody. Theoretically, though, as long as we're getting enough protein in daily, that's really all we can do and wait it out. Like I said, not everyone has hair loss during extreme weight loss. Like right now, I'm not experiencing that side effect. I could very easily say, oh, it's because I'm taking my biotin, but I don't honestly don't think that has anything to do with it. So I'll probably just take what's here and, and when that's done, that's done. And what I do to keep my vitamins organized is I have this monthly pill organizer that I got from Amazon for $20.99, which I'll link in the description below. It's designed, you can see it says week one, week two, week three, week four. It's designed to be four weeks worth of pills. So you would do like all of your Monday pills in here, all of your Tuesday pills in here. But what I did instead is I did my morning, my calcium, my next calcium, and then my biotin goes in here. I can pop them out. I can throw them in my lunchbox if I need to take my calcium with me. They come apart. So if you're traveling, you can um, take it with you. And then I use my Berry Tastic app to alert me when to take them. And I check them off either as I go or at the end of the day. And then every Sunday I refill it for the next week. Of course, this is not necessary for success. You can take all of your vitamins without this. But I like to have them laid out in order on the counter, ready for me to take without having to think about it. If I were to put all of my vitamins, and this is just me, on the counter, just in a stack of vitamin bottles, I'm gonna miss something, I'm not gonna take it. This just makes it so easy for me to pop it out, open it up, take my vitamins, go about my day. So that's it YouTube friends, that's all for my vitamin regimen. I hope you found some useful information in this video. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe. My Instagram link is going to be below. And if you are also on a weight loss quest, whether it be weight loss or non-weight loss surgery, comment below, share your story, your YouTube, your Instagram. Let's connect and start growing some sort of a community here. And until next time, bye YouTube friends.